MrBeast videos contain some of the most high stakes games and challenges, with hundreds of thousands of dollars on the line, so it comes to no surprise that some players will resort to cheating or clever strategies and do anything it takes to win, with one of our first examples dating back to 2021. In the video, Last to Take Hand Off Lamborghini Keeps It, participants had to keep their hands on the car at all times to have a chance at winning. However, just 5 minutes into the video, one player was caught allegedly breaking the rules. I think you guys can piece where I'm going with this. What? This participant dared to remove both hands from the prize Lamborghini and the reason? To tie his shoes. What makes this incident particularly interesting is Mr. Beast's reaction, or rather the lack thereof. Despite his clear view of the cheating contestant, Mr. Beast seemed oblivious to what happened. It was only a minute later that the contestant would be removed from the competition when he decided to remove his hand in the middle of a power nap. A wave of viewers flocked to TikTok, sharing clips and expressing their surprise that Mr. Beast didn't notice what looked like apparent cheating. However, looking closer at the situation shows why Mr. Beast acted or didn't act the way he did. The contestant had another plan, using the car's windshield wiper. You see, early in the video, Mr. Beast had taken it off the car and told players that they could use it. I have a windshield wiper that if you're touching with your right hand, you are still technically touching the car. This meant players could take their hands off the car, but as long as they held the wiper, they were still in the game. This was especially helpful for things like bathroom breaks. So while many viewers thought this player was cheating, he actually played by the rules. But unlike this challenge where only one contestant was accused of cheating, Mr. Beast's finger on the app challenge led to thousands of cheating allegations. Mr. Beast's finger on the app challenge took the internet by storm. With over a million contestants competing worldwide, MrBeast promised a grand prize of $25,000 to the last person who could endure the mental and physical strain of keeping their finger on the mobile app. The challenge seemed simple, primarily because you could compete from anywhere in the world. But after a torturous 70 hours, only 4 people remained. Eventually, MrBeast rewarded all 4 contestants $20,000, marking the end of this competition. Even though people could easily use everyday items to imitate an actual fingerprint and win the game, it wasn't that easy. You see, the app had random buttons that would pop up, which the players needed to press to ensure it was a real person playing. But even with that, some people still figured out how to cheat. Rumors and evidence suggested that some contestants might have used machines to help them in the task. A YouTuber named 4D Builds even showcased a method to cheat by employing machinery to imitate the movement of a finger. Another YouTuber, 38, devised another plan, using a 3D printer to bypass the app's mechanisms. 10 minutes into the challenge, I noticed- They attached a stylus to the printer and programmed it to reproduce finger motions. The goal? A guaranteed win. However, due to a malfunction in the cheap stylus they chose to use, their strategy was stopped, causing their elimination from the challenge. And I lost the challenge. This stirred widespread speculation, with many believing that at least one finalist had been bending the rules. Some even proposed that MrBeast might have chosen to end the challenge earlier, suspecting a deadlock caused by these potential cheaters. This situation brought to light the difficulties faced by Mr. Beast in preserving the integrity of his large-scale challenges, especially if they still need to include the supervision of Mr. Beast's crew members. While people have only speculated about the cheaters in the Finger on the App challenge, the next challenge included a player whose win is still a matter of argument through this day. In a video by Mr. Beast, a real-life Squid Game challenge concluded with a game of musical chairs, where the winner would receive a grand prize of $456,000. The rules of musical chairs required that their participants circle the chairs while the music is still on. Mr. Beast even mentions that nobody should stop moving or hovering over the chairs. Keep moving the entire time. No stopping and hovering. One of the contestants ignores this and continues to hover over the chairs and had been doing so for the entire duration of the game. Two people, two chairs, one must go. Huh? This very contestant would then end up winning the entire Squid Game challenge. The audience was left to interpret whether this incident could be deemed as a form of cheating or a strategic maneuver within the game's rules. Regardless of this debate, one undeniable fact remains which is that the contestants still secured the victory and walked away with $456,000. Navigating the complex challenges in Mr. Beast videos, participants always seek that unique edge to win it all. But this principle isn't just limited to challenges, it's also crucial in the world of investing too. And that's why I want to tell you about our sponsor, Candlestick AI. Investing is hard, but AI can help. Hedge funds and institutional investors have been using AI for years, or to get them an unfair advantage and produce profit for themselves. Regular investors haven't had that same option, until now. Candlestick Candlestick is an app that gives you your own AI investing copilot. Candlestick's AI models practice over past market data until they can achieve superhuman trading performance in the stock market. Regular investors have used the model's recommendations to beat the market in both 2021 and 2022. Of course, you have to trust your own investment decisions here, and nobody 
wants to just be told what to do by some higher authority human or AI without understanding why. I know I wouldn't be comfortable with that. That's why Candlestick uses generative AI to explain every recommendation and answer any question about finance, investing, or specific stocks. Traditional finance is a one-way street. With AI, it can be a two-way street. Now is the time to start building your wealth a smart way. Candlestick is extending a special offer to Ryan Pictures viewers. Just use the link below to try Candlestick out for free and join the AI investing revolution. Now back to the video. In another video, contestants participated in a real-life version of the game Red Light Green Light, once again inspired by Squid Game. The objective was simple. When Mr. Beast said Green Light, the contestants could move forward, but when he said Red Light, they had to stop immediately. Only the first 20 contestants who make it past the red line at the end of the field would move on to the next game. However, in the middle of the challenge, Mr. Beast added a twist, saying there was no time limit, hinting he could pause the game indefinitely. No time limit. This caused some anxiety, as participants worried about standing still for possibly hours. Despite everyone believing Mr. Beast had red light, one contestant boldly dashed to the finish line. Snack. This would shock even Mr. Beast and quickly call him out. You're definitely eliminated. It's here that Mr. Beast's cameraman points out his biggest mistake. Mr. Beast did say green light, but didn't even realize it. You see, earlier, while explaining the game, Mr. Beast had said green light aloud before setting down the microphone. The beauty of this red light green light is there's no time limit. So technically, the sprinting contestant hadn't broken any rules. Despite this clever move, the contestant didn't end up winning. However, unlike this contestant's quick thinking that led to an iconic moment of Mr. Beast being outsmarted, Tabo never actually outsmarted Mr. Beast, but simply glitched his way into winning $100,000. Tabo, a prominent Minecraft streamer, earned his fame primarily through his involvement in the Dream SMP, one of the most popular Minecraft servers in the world. Under the direction of Mr. Beast, the Dream SMP hosted a treasure hunt event that featured many established YouTubers and streamers. The goal was simple, the first to find the hidden treasure wins a cash prize. And just a mere one hour into the event, it was revealed that Tabo found the treasure chest and secured a $100,000 prize. Yeah! However, after the treasure hunt, Dream claimed that Tabo had altered the game's settings, specifically adjusting his field of view and enabling view bobbing. I'm being, I'm being told he has. Okay, well, well, I have pearls, so I should be able to get them. These changes, according to Dream, gave Tubbo the ability to see through walls, which Dream referred to as basically X-Ray. Dream expressed his frustration, as he wished the treasure hunt had taken longer, and he believed Tubbo's use of these settings gave him an unfair advantage. It was kind of annoying how he found it. He turned on, like, view bobbing, turned his FOV up and could see through the wall. Tubbo's choice to use these settings sparked debates about whether it constituted cheating or not. On one side, people argued that Tubbo's actions weren't cheating. They pointed out that he hadn't used any external modifications or hacks, but had smartly utilized Minecraft's inherent features. People argue that the competition was meant to be played simply without using special tricks or clever in-game techniques, suggesting that he might have gone too far. And while the challenge shows us a contestant whose victory is still being debated, the following incident is widely regarded by Mr. Beast fans as complete and evident cheating. In Mr. Beast's high-stakes trivia event with a grand prize of $300,000, two well-known creators, the Emilio sisters, faced strong accusations of blatant cheating. The event drew attention not only because of its award, but also due to the intense competition. Many speculators observed that the Nomelio sisters, Dixie and Charlie, seemed to be getting assistance from their parents during the game. The trivia event was simple. Contestants competed in an elimination bracket. Mr. Beast would ask the contestants simple questions, and the person who got the most right would move on to face the next person. However, many times in the competition, you could see both of them asking for help from the parents. More suspicion arose during the final round, where Dixie Demelion consistently got the correct answers. The problem? Her entire family was off camera. The concern here was that the whole family appeared to be sitting behind the camera, potentially allowing them to look up answers and provide them to her discreetly, which would be a form of cheating. At one point, she appears to glance off camera, most likely because she looks at her family for answers. Charlie was even seen with her phone, leading some to think that she was simply searching for answers online. The accusations became a hot topic, challenging the fairness of the competition. The video's comment section was filled with upset viewers discussing the Demelia's win. Someone on Reddit would even highlight every moment the sisters received help during the competition. In response to these allegations, the Demilio sisters decided to give their prize money to their YouTube subscribers. But the discussion continues, with people debating if their win was legitimate or not. Yet at the end of the day, regardless of the controversy and differing opinions, one redeeming act was the Demilio sisters' decision to give away all their prize money to their YouTube subscribers. 